Good morning students, I am Nidhi Shudesh Bhagalwadi, your science teacher, Sankal Learning Solutions. In the last class, we solved certain numericals on uh, the series combination. Today, we are going to learn how the parallel combination of resistors will be. So, parallel combination, I already drew the circuit diagram how it will be. So, let us solve the, let us uh, look on to how the what total resistance will be there in case of parallel combination. How the potential difference will be and what about the current flow through the circuit. Before that, let us draw the schematic circuit diagram of parallel combination of resistors. So, today's uh, topic is parallel combination of resistors. Okay, yes. So here what happens as usual, a circuit will be having the battery of certain potential difference which will be connected to a key and we will be having the emitter to measure the flow of current and actually here the resistors are connected parallelly. So we can take this as R1, R2 and R3. Okay. And the current will be flowing through this. So let us name this as I. This is battery. This is, uh, sorry, key, K. And this is an emitter. Hmm? And we will be having the potential uh, voltmeter to measure the potential difference which can be shown like this. I will show it later while explaining. So let us name these as R1, this as R2, this as R3. Okay, let us come to the point. So here as the resistors are connected parallelly, as the resistors are connected parallelly across two ends of the wire, two ends of the wire. So here you can see the ends are only two. So the pressure of the electron flow, the pressure for the electron flow across will be only two. So we can see the potential difference here we as in case of series we can't see the potential difference across many points over here we can find only the potential difference across two points which is nothing but the total potential difference here the potential difference will not be distributed here the potential difference will be constant because here you can see only at the two ends from these two ends again the resistors are connected so, the main pressure for the electron flow will occur at these two points mainly. That is why in parallel combination, the thing is potential difference. Potential difference remains constant. Remains constant. So, here we can say, here we can say, V1 that is potential difference across R1 is equal to V2 that is potential difference across R2. V3 potential difference across R3 will be equal because the potential difference across uh, occurs only at two main points. When we come to the total potential difference, so total PD that is Vp, potential difference across the resistors when it is connected parallel is equal to V1 is equal to V2 is equal to V3. Next, the other thing is current in the circuit. Current in the circuit. So, current in the circuit, in the series combination when you compare Suppose let us take the series combination over here. So the I is current is flowing. So the current flows through 
without interruption in only one way in a single way through different resistors. That is why current remains constant over here. But here what happens as you can see in the parallel combination, the current I, let us take 1 ampere, the current is 1 ampere. So this much amount of current will go here. Again, the, this end is connected. The other wires are connected from this point. So here what happens, the current distributes itself as I1, I2 and I3. I1, I2 and I3. So this I can explain through the water analogy. So what happens, let us take a pump. Let us consider a pump over here. Fine, for uh, defining or for understanding potential difference, we saw one water analogy. Like that we will see one more. So this is pump which can pump 20 liter of water. So it is connected to narrow pipe. Then again the thicker pipe. Then again uh, this pipe is connected to the narrow pipe. Then again the thicker, uh, this will go here. And this is connected to again here. This is connected to again here. Again like this. So here, when a water pumps 20 liter of water, the water will flow here, 20 liter. It will flow here, 20 liter. When it reaches here, it is not compulsory that all the 20 liter will flow like this. Some of the water may go like this also because it has two paths over here. It has two paths. It has two ways to go. One is like this, one is like this. So that we can't say equal amount of water. That is here also 20 liter of water is going. Here also 20 liter of water is going. We can't say that. Because it has two parts. The whole 20 liter. Some amount of water go there. Might go here. Some amount of water might go here. Like that only. In the case of parallel combination. As we have branchings or the connections of the wires from this end. We can't say equal amount of current is going to each wire. So here current distributes itself. Okay. Current distributes itself. So let us see how it distributes. Mm, fine. So here we can give current as sum of the currents through resistor 1, resistor 2 and resistor 3. So here the total current total current in circuit ip is equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 so here we can say current will get distributed while as potential difference gets uh, remains constant. Okay. So this is equation 1. This is equation 2. So according to Ohm's law. According to Ohm's law. V is directly proportional to I. This implies V is equal to R into I. So when we solve for V, I. So we will get I is equal to V by R. So let us substitute all this 1, 2 in the equation number 3. So I1 is equal to V1 by R1. I2 is equal to V2 by R2. Then I3 is equal to V3 by R3. So this is equation number 4. So let us substitute 4 in 2. IP, so we can write it as V by RP is equal to I1 is V1 by R1. I2 is V2 by R2. I3 is V3 by R3. Okay. 
Now, so we know that V is equal to V1, uh, V is equal to V1, is equal to V2, V is equal to V3. So, all the values are same. So, all will get cancelled or we can say V by RP is equal to V by R1 plus V by R2 plus V by R3. In this, if we take V common, we will get 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. So, this V and this V will get cancelled. So, the finally we will be having 1 by Rp is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. So, in parallel combination, the resistance in parallel, the total resistance in parallel will be equal to reciprocal of sum of resistances. Reciprocal of sum of resistances. This is a total resistance in the parallel combination. This is regarding the parallel combination of the resistors. In the upcoming session, we are going to learn regarding certain numericals on this. Then we will move to the next concept. Until that, take care. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.